female robots that can become your partner and will eventually replace your wife. From Battlestar Galactica's Cylons to Spike Honze's film Her, human-robot relationships have been a recurring theme in pop culture. However, such a scenario may no longer be science fiction. Human-machine romance is already approaching the realm of possibility. Abyss Creations, a California-based company, plans to begin selling a new generation of high-tech sex robots this year, including dolls that can speak and respond to touch. And according to artificial intelligence expert Dr. David Levy, we'll not only be having sex with robots in a few generations, but we'll be marrying them. That's amazing, isn't it? You must be curious to know more. Well, buckle up as we continue with our video. Hello everyone, and welcome to the AI Universe, a channel where you can get all the latest updates on AI technology. Without further delay, let's start with today's video. In light of AI's repeated predictions of the rise of sex robots, it's becoming increasingly difficult to maintain that such machines belong in a distant, dystopian future. But according to some robotics experts, we'll soon be doing far more than just having sexual relations with machines. Instead, we'll be having romantic feelings and love with them. David Levy, author of a book on the human-robot love, predicted that human-robot marriages would be legal by 2050 at Goldsmith University in London's Love and Sex with Robots conference. The prediction, according to Adrian Chiok, a computing professor at City University London and director of the Mixed Reality Labs in Singapore, is not so far-fetched. Because it's only 35 years away, that may seem outrageous. However, 35 years ago, homosexual marriage was considered scandalous, says Chiok, who also spoke at the conference. Until the 1970s, some states prohibited white and black people from marrying. Society progresses and changes at a breakneck pace. And while human-robot marriage may not be legal until 2050, Chiok believes humans will be living with robot partners much sooner. Despite the fact that sex robots could fulfill sexist male sexual fantasies, Chuck believes that robot-human marriages will have an overwhelmingly positive impact on society. People believe that anyone can marry, have sex, and fall in love. However, many do not, he claims. Even those who do may be looking for something different, Chuck claims, that a lot of human marriages are very unhappy. A robot will be better than a human in comparison to a bad marriage. Though there are a variety of sex robots on the market, none come close to resembling a human sexual partner and none come close to the type of humanoid robot capable of replicating a loving relationship. Chiok, on the other hand, believes that the greatest technological challenge in developing love robots is developing the software required to build a robot that can understand human conversation well enough for the job. Chiok sees no problem with man-machine romances once that problem has been resolved. If a robot looks like it loves you and you feel it loves you, he says, you'll essentially feel like it's almost human love. Humans have already fallen in love with computer characters in Japan and South Korea. Chiok also compares human love for other species, such as pet cats, to robot love. We already have a high level of empathy for non-human animals. I believe it will be a small leap for us to feel empathy for robots once we have robots that act human, act emotional, or look human, he says. Others, however, are not convinced. Professor Oliver Bendel of the University of Applied Sciences and Arts in Switzerland, who specializes in machine ethics, believes that sex or love robots will not have moral standing. Marriage is a type of contract between two people that governs their mutual rights and obligations, including childcare and welfare. Perhaps one day, robots will have real duties and rights, he says, though he doubts it. However, he acknowledges that, due to public pressure, human-robot marriage could become legal by 2050. On the other hand, as sex and love robots become more realistic, governments may choose to prohibit sexual relationships between humans and machines, according to Bendel. In any case, experts believe that, even though the technology isn't quite there yet, it's best to start thinking about moral dilemmas now so that we'll be ready when romantic sex robots do arrive. David Levy of the University of Maastricht in the Netherlands is another pioneer who is working tirelessly to achieve this feat. Levy recently finished his PhD dissertation on human-robot relationships, which covered many of the benefits and practices associated with marriage as well as those that exist out of it. Levy expects many people to jump on the bandwagon once a story like I had sex with a robot and it was great appears somewhere like Cosmo magazine. The Greek myth of the sculptor Pygmalion falling in love with the ivory statue he made, named Galatea, to which the goddess Venus eventually granted life, is one of the earliest examples of human-machine romance. 
The idea hasn't gone away in modern times. Not only has science fiction explored this concept, but scientists discovered 40 years ago that students were sometimes unusually drawn to ELISA, a computer program that asks questions and mimics a psychotherapist. There's a trend toward robots looking more human-like and interacting more with humans, Levy said. Robots were first used in impersonal settings, such as factories, where they assisted in the production of automobiles. Then they were used as vacuum cleaners in homes, such as the Roomba, or in offices to deliver mail or show visitors around museums. You can now buy robot toys such as Sony's Ibo Robot Dog or Tickle Me Elmo's, as well as digital pets such as Tamagotchi's. Levy predicts that robots will become so human-like in appearance, function, and personality that many people will fall in love with them, have sex with them, and even marry them. It may sound strange, but it isn't, Levy explained. It's unavoidable to fall in love and have sex with robots. Long before the end of the 20th century, as a result of these new technologies, marriage ceased to be about the efficient production of market and household goods, and began to be more about something like companionship, love, and sex. Marriage began to be about two people coming together because they were very similar to each other in terms of their ability to produce, rather than two people coming out together because they were very different in terms of their ability to produce. I believe that the use of sexbot technology will not only disentangle the link between sexual intimacy and marriage, but will also result in higher quality marriages overall. Some argue that men assume the burden of marriages because it provides them with easy sexual access and that, if they can get sex elsewhere, they will not marry. We marry because, aside from the companionship it provides, it is still the most cost-effective way to arrange families, as it reduces household production costs. Without the help of a partner, people can live alone and even have children. However, because it allows for the division of labor in household tasks, marriage is still a less expensive way to raise a family. Today we marry because marriage provides both partners with relatively easy sexual access thanks in part to the legacy of contraceptive technology. So what happens to marriage when sexbot technology offers a low-cost alternative to easy sexual access during marriage? A reversal of the previous century societal change, which linked marriage and sexual intimacy, and a return to the perception of marriage as a productive household unit is one possibility. Those who believe sexbot technology will have a negative impact on marriage rates see it as a replacement for sexual access in marriage. If they are correct, lowering the cost of sexual access outside of marriage will reduce demand for sexual access in marriage, resulting in lower marriage rates. Dr. Levy's vision will take a long time to realize despite the advancement in robotics technology. However, he claims that artificial intelligence and robotics are progressing at a faster rate than ever before. Dr. Levy predicts that two characteristics must be perfected before humans will be interested in marrying robots flawless speech recognition and the ability to carry on a good conversation. He says that you don't want to be in a long-term relationship with someone you can't communicate with. However, even if technology advances to the point where robots can pass for humans, it's unclear whether humans will accept them as such. So that's all for today. What do you think the future holds for robot-human marriage? Let us know about your thoughts in the comment section below. This brings us to the end of our video. We hope that you liked this video, and if you do, then don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to this channel. Also, don't forget to turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload our next video. Until next time, peace!